Good evening and welcome to the Royal Opera House. Everyone here was deeply shocked and saddened at the news a week ago tonight of the death of Her Majesty the Queen. Her Majesty had a long association with this building. 66 years ago, she gave the Royal Ballet its charter and became its patron. So this evening, we're going to begin with the national anthem and at the piano, the head of music at the Royal Ballet, Robert Clark. Welcome to the Claw Studio here at the Royal Opera House and this insight sponsored by Rolex. I'm Petrock Trelawney and this evening we're going to give you an insight into preparations for the upcoming staging of Sir Kenneth Macmillan's ballet, Myling, which opens here at the start of October. Created for the Royal Ballet in 1978, Myling tells the stories of the deaths of Crown, Proof Rudolf, Crown Prince Rudolf of Austria and his mistress, Mary Vetsera. Macmillan's ballet was unprecedented in the darkness of the subject material, but also the psychological intensity of everything that happens on stage. Almost four decades later, it continues both to shock and to enthrall. Well, before we get into a little of rehearsals for Myling here in the Claw studio this evening. I'm delighted to welcome to the stage the director of the Royal Ballet, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin O'Hare. <laughs> welcome, Kevin. Thank you very much. Uh, you, your history with this ballet, well, you, you, I think, were at the dress rehearsal. Yes, yes, I was saying to you earlier, I uh, was a young uh, student at White Lodge, the Royal Ballet School, and we were taken up uh, to see uh, the dress rehearsal of uh, Myling in 1978. How old were you? I was about 12, I think. So, I mean, quite dark material. Yeah, course. and I, I, I think we just lapped it up. We, we loved it. And, and it was, I, I think, the, the time before I'd been to see The Sleeping Beauty, that, so that was my first time coming from the school to a, a rehearsal, and then to see this. And it really was a game changer. Mm. And I think to see uh, somebody at the height of their, uh, you know, mastery of telling a story through dance, through movement, together with the designs. And also, you had Gillian Freeman there, who also helped him to really navigate that complex story. And it's incredible how you see how he introduces every character uh, throughout the first act. And so then you really get to grips with this story. Because it's a real story, and he was determined that he would tell it faithfully, Gillian Freeman helped him do that, not just in terms of the characterizations and in terms of the synopsis, but in terms of the look, in terms of the design, the feeling of being in 19th century Austria. Yes, I really do think you're, you're, you feel you're there, and I think the costuming is really important, and it's amazing how they managed to make them really look like of that period, but that they can move and they can, you can dance in them, and uh, it's quite fascinating to see those, those different ladies in those different costumes of the time. And fascinating to see, I imagine, dancers progressing through the company with Miley. Yes, I know. I, um, uh, Rio Ricci, who is a, also dances Prince Rudolf, he was saying to me once how he'd really been in every part there is to play as a male dancer through from the very beginning, from you know lowering the coffin to being Prince Rudolph. And that way, I think the dancers learn to, and we'll, we'll be talking later to people like Zenaida Yunovsky and Lara Marrera, you know, who have been with this ballet for many years and, and know all the different layers of it because they've played the different parts. And I think it's fascinating to then see that come to life on stage. We've talked at these Insight events before about the incredible 
closeness between the history of the Royal Ballet and the history of, of Kenneth Macmillan. I was just thinking what, what we said then about the, that the Queen creating or granting the status of, of Royal Ballet to the company 66 years ago. And that link with Macmillan stretches right back to, to that point and, and, and before. Perhaps this is one of the most important of his contributions to the history of the company. I think it is, actually, because it really feels like all the different... And, of course, there's wonderful ballets before it and, and after it, but it just feels at this moment he, he's at the top of his game creating these characters, and particularly with Rudolf, you know, it's fascinating to see how this uh, character goes from the beginning of, of the first act through the journey, through all the different women in his life, mm. and to the, the, the very sad outcome in the end. And also for all of us that like to come often and see, and see this ballet, seeing different interpreters mm. take this role. Mm. Mm. It's a great way to start the season. Stay with us, Kevin, because we're going to welcome uh, now to the stage former Royal Ballet principal and guest repetitor, Zanida Janowski. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. So, Neda, thank you so much for, for being with us uh, this evening. Tell us about your history with, with Myling. Uh, <laughs> it's going quite far back. Apologies, I've got a little bit of a cold, so my voice is not working very well. But um, I started quite young doing The Empress, so I've grown with that role over the years with different Rudolphs. Um, to start with, I think I was, I was Jonathan Cope's mother. And so... <laughs> At the age of 25 or something like that, I felt fairly young. <laughs> and so very quickly I had to adapt to that dynamic, really, um, and learn how to um, um, probably stand, you know, um, on stage with such a, a knowledgeable mm. uh, dancer. Mm. Um, so that's, that's you know, then I, I had other partners, I had Carlos Acosta, I had Edward Watson, and so on and so on. And the beauty of it is that it's never the same. Mm. And I think everybody can relate to that. For, for, for what was it? A new ballet in its mm. time. It, it, it's proven to have remarkable staying power, hasn't it? Mm, absolutely. I think, uh, well, it's a great story. It's a fantastic story. It's beautifully told. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a jewel of a ballet. And I think it shows because everybody wants to do it. Is it a ballet that makes massive demands on, on dancers? Oh, tremendous, yeah. Especially for the male dancer, um, it's, it's a marathon. Mm. Um, actually, more than that. <laughs> it's, it's something... I haven't seen a male dancer that has come out of the stage probably 20 kilos less for a start, but also, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and recovering the next day. It's, it's a... It's a grueling part for, for yeah. the male dancer, emotionally and physically. Well, I was going to say, because mm. as well as the, the, the stamina uh, and the physicality required, it, it is a, a ballet that makes great demands of, of a dancer's acting mm. ability. No, absolutely. The, the range, the arch of his interpretation is um, uh, very large and, and, and it's not just about his life, but his dynamic with the women in his life and, what, and the catalyst that that causes to his persona mm. and what he wants to do and how he wants to end. And, and, and then, of course, the end of the empire. I mean, it's not a, a light, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> scenario in a way. He, it seems like he knew that, uh, that, that the empire will collapse be behind him. Mm. 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 What, what are you going to rehearse for us this evening? OK, well, today we are going to rehearse, um, in the second act, uh, Mary uh, Vetseva, who is... Uh, Prince Rudolf's um, <laughs> sort of uh, girl of, of, of the day. Rudolf is, is, is a man who loves women. He gets married and, and uh, it seems like his marriage was okay, um, happy-ish, but nevertheless he really enjoyed the company of many, many other women. Uh, he gets introduced uh, through his cousin, who is the manipulator of the whole um, story in a way, especially in, the, in this ballet. She's the, she's the one who manipulates the, the, the whole scene. Uh, she introduced him to Mary Vetseva. Uh, she's only 16, if I'm right. Mm -hmm. um, she's a social climber, um, very ambitious, and she loves the idea of being with 
Prince Rudolf, even if it's just through the back door, because she's never going to be married to him, and we all know that, you know, everybody knows that that's never going to happen, yet she loves the idea of being his mistress. And so this is the first time they're together. Uh, she comes into her room, into his room, sorry, and uh, he's completely, uh, I think, bemused by her and, and, and loves her from the word go. Hmm. Well, let's see you at work. So, Neda, thank you. Kevin, thank, thank you very you. much thank indeed. You. And please welcome Rob Clark, our head of music uh, at the <coughs> piano, and principals of the Royal Ballet, Lara Marrera and Matthew Ball. So, doing a little bit of research um, just before we start, I wanted to set the, the feel of, of actually the, the intensity of this ballet. And for me, uh, Kenneth was uh, one of those choreographers that you don't need to put too much on top of it because his language is so rich. Uh, everything he does has a meaning. And quoting from his uh, interviews, you'll see, uh, well, and, and watching them, it'll be transparent, but quoting him, he said, I wanted a complete narrative, to not put any padding, to make every moment mean something. I wanted the audience to be involved and to go home believing those char characters existed. And I think this is a wonderful stepping stone to start this rehearsal. So, I think the, the, also the, the beauty, I never got to know, unfortunately, Kenneth, but everybody says that he loved individuality. He loved artists that were creative. And I, I feel Laura, yeah, both of them actually. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> that sounded awful. <laughs> I'm fantastic. <laughs> I had a massive name blank. <laughs> I'm, so <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Those, uh, these two artists are very creative and, and, and you'll see what I mean by this. But this is all about creating layers, layers and, and also to bring the best out of them and to make them be the character. And for me not to put an input that is too much, too oppressive on their interpretation. So.
fantastic. I've got to cut my hair. I've learned that. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Fantastic. Fantastic. I, I, I'm so proud of them. So I think this is a fantastic place to start with because then building layers is just about timing and colors and, you know, it's just so wonderful. Um, okay. Uh, Matt, how do you feel when she just comes in into the room? Have you thought about that? Yeah. Are you are you relaxed? Well, we did, we are you? Did it very yeah. <laughs> sorry, I should be sitting down from where we took it. Away. Yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> um, so when she comes in and she's just sort of going, "Oh, hi, I'm the new girl in town." Um, how how do you feel internally? Are you looking forward to seeing her, and or are you quite chilled? Are you anxious? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, but I think like there's a bit of insecurity. I don't think. I don't think she was ready for this. Right. And the first thing she tells me is that she is. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Very nice, I, I like that. So I want to see that when you turn around and when you go towards her, how curious you are about her and how you are reading her immediately, scanning her in a way. Nice. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Remember, I think when she takes her coat off and she only has her nighty. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think some satisfaction oh, okay. should, you know, to just go, oh my God, <laughs> she has nothing on. Yeah, well, you know. Just inter internally, internally, yeah. Um, yeah, also, uh, I wonder, again, if, uh, if you are too intense on the walk, yeah. if you could be a little bit more casual uh, with your body language, uh, maybe not swinging, but something that, that is, more, is less intense, but, but it has that intensity, but you're actually, yeah, you're, you're giving us many, many messages um, about how you feel yeah, lovely. Exactly. And then she just goes, flash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And then so now you start. Da, 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 da. That was lovely. Great. Nice and big. Big arms so you, everybody can see. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Lovely. Da. Exactly. So I think also you haven't, you, you, I feel that at one point you have to go, oh, this is good. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we need to see that thought for a millisecond before, yeah. Yeah, I think that's nice, instead of just knowing that there is a skull in there for a millisecond. Yeah. Then you like to just play the same game as him. Yeah. Yeah. Da da. Nice. Yeah. Are you... Um, are you confused that she knows your game? Or immediately like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she recognizes it as a symbol of death, but doesn't understand the meaning of it. I agree. Death, yeah, like yeah. The depth of it. I think that's wonderful. Yeah. I, I like that idea. Um, would you immediately just go, oh, yeah? Or would you just go, she? Does. She knows her stuff, or gosh, I didn't know that we were so connected so immediately. Um, sorry, I'm being really specific, but those little things set the patterns so well. Yeah, that. Uh, do you want to? Yes, one and uh, two and uh, three and four. Yes, near. I like that. Yeah, that shows. Yeah, nice. Da, 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 this was great, boom. Yeah, nice, as you walk back. Very good. Yeah, shoom. Great, Matt, remember, yes, keep that shoulder down, really, yeah, exactly. Keep her close to you also, because you, you just, up, yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah. So, you know, after that, sorry. <laughs> Da, 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 da. So keep her really like, shoot, oi, you know? I am, I am in charge here. So a little bit more, uh, 
Less violent, but more in control. Shim. Yes, I like that. Yeah. It helps when you go not so much on my elbow, but a little a bit, bit higher. Just kind of, in, yeah. Mm. It helps to keep yeah. Elbow yeah. Elbow. And it's a lovely connection between you two. You are in command, and then you do what you want to do, exactly, which is that. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard not to get <laughs> specific. Okay, so pa pa pa, all that, very good, excellent. As you came down, <clears throat> very good. Uh, Lau, I felt that that was a little bit strong. Can you be a little bit more dismissive instead of yes, exactly? Yeah. And so. So you can see. see her power That's right. Uh -huh. so da -da -da. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So off you go. Da -da -da. This was great. Yeah. Thinking about what to do with that gun. How am I going to shock him? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think you turned the other way earlier on. Is that right? Or I don't mind where you turn. I don't actually care. As long as you know that is like, oh my God. I've been doing the short, the slightly shorter. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. I think. Uh, but, but it's like, don't just do it for no. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Very good. A little bit like, oh, is this a game? Is she for real? Da 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 da. All that, and suddenly you get serious and you start being a little bit scared. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Excellent. Lau, will you delay going into him too, uh, a little bit? Only because I think you have the gun and you don't want to be knocked out mm -hmm. by him. Yeah. So make sure that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And only when he's down that you just go, ha, got you. Yeah. yeah. This scared you. Exactly. Bam. Wonderful. This was great. Taking the gun. Wonderful. All the way down to the table. This fantastic. Um, very good. You were just a little bit late getting there, but yeah. you know that. Uh, I would like... Sorry, getting what? Uh, to, to the end, to the... Yeah, but you know we that. Do know yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, as you go into this one, can you show me the hands? Hands getting into... Da -di -da -di. Both times. Yeah, hmm. both times. So the hand suddenly gets... Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, yes. Daddy. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. Da da. One. Very nice, very nice. And now bring her around. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And again, one. Yes. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So that hand suddenly at the end takes priority yeah. with your head. So we all know. It's all about this part of the body. Uh, uh, coming down, coming round, great. The kiss, da 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 That was beautiful. Off your leg, beautiful there. How you, I mean, <laughs> meant to be. <laughs> da 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 da. I, yes, very, very good. And I really like how you ended up in coup de pied at the end. I think I that's... Think that's what it's meant to be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and da 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 That was great. Da 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 The same. da 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 Show really that yeah, breast. Yeah. Really yeah. 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 Can we try this with music on? Absolutely. I like I didn't quite get it. Yes, yes, it was a, yeah, great. Did you break down the book? Just when you sang, you said. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Is that the, oh.
roll out. <laughs> very good, very good. Excellent, very good. Um, Matt, do you, can you lift her, her leg back a little bit more? I, I need to see her leg really struggling, yeah. Yeah. Like one I of those. I've seen it struggling. <laughs> in a different way. Maybe my, because uh, Maybe once I pull my leg and my back up, yeah. there's a limit to my yeah, yeah. talent. <laughs> So maybe we can go leg more. Yes, and then yes. Then the maybe a longer leg also. Up, up, up. Yes. Can it, can it be a little, sorry, longer leg? Yeah, that's it, longer sorry, attitude. Sorry, sorry, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. 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 A ver. Yeah. yeah, long leg low. There, 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 there. exactly. Da. And uh, Matt, maybe do it at the end of the phrase. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you are not down there for a long time. So you're just going, nah, nah, and then last kiss at the end. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I think I'll yeah. into it probably. Um, yeah. But I need to remember to not shorten it as I go out. Yes, because we lose the leg, and it's quite a nice idea because, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and, uh, okay, so. Excellent. Da, da, da. Those ones were great, actually. Into the Isle of Man. Da, 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 da. All that's good. Da, 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 da. This was great. Da, 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 da. Into that lift. Remember, Matt, to get that uh, left arm as quick as possible if you can. Yeah. Yeah. And one. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try again. Yes, yes. Is it swinging too much, or is it just not? It's such a fine line, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. When we really get it, mm. and I give it impetus, I yeah. just have to know how good we are there to know how much impetus we give. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, lovely. But it's the left one that really reads, no? Yeah. 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 I think then we see that. Yeah, and, uh, that's it, exactly. And because it's on her, I think, waist, is that right? And then it kind of goes into her pit. Yeah, it's her yeah. Waist, so then it has to Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I wonder, can we do it again? And we shall we? Yes. After, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll play the second day to mm. the second, yeah. Mm. Good, good, good. But that was better. That was a better, yeah, yeah. yeah. Laura, do you get do you get to that arabesque before coming in, or are you sort of going in straight I don't into? Know, would you I suggest? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure because we're maybe we should. Maybe we it kind of feels yeah. Maybe we should it like kind of feels yeah. It kind of feels like it needs that one. Uh, now you get into the yeah into the waist into the yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's nice. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Um, da, 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 that was great. Uh, the, the next thing, excellent. Actually, it was fantastic already. Um, so then, da, 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 da. remember, um, da, 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 da. Uh, can we do that as she comes in? Can it be a little bit more sensual? Yeah. Instead of just up and down, just yeah. a little bit more of one and da, 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 as you let her go. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, that's it. Da di da ba bum. Good. Remember, this is up and down, pretty much. Da di da da. I can't quite get this because I think this leg drops a little bit, so I ended up joining them. Yeah. Also, I sat on your head on the Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, very good. Promenade, excellent. Da -da -da, very good into, into the next thing. Uh, Do you want to try that one? Or you are specific about the leg? Okay. Yeah? Do you want to do that with the music into, into the next thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are do doing. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Take your time.
time bringing her down, yes, but one. Very nice. Excellent, excellent. That works a lot better. Mm. Yeah. Well, Adrian, I'm going to ask if we can pause it there. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed for sharing. I'm going to give you a microphone. Oh, <laughs> my present to you. Still in the role. Uh, my goodness. I mean, we just saw from, from that <clears throat> 20 minutes just the intensity of the way both your characters are, are painted, how 360 degree, how real they are. Is that, is that what, what you feel? Yeah, I think um, that's the amazing thing about Macmillan. You know, I feel like he looked at the human nature as a whole. He didn't hide the darker side of those emotions that li live within us. But, and so for us as dancers, we can explore everything. There is no limits. Mm. There is danger, there is darkness, there's love, there's rent, you know, it's just a whole. So it's really enriching artistically. And it does make you also be more aware of human nature. And there's, yeah. you know, it's like holding a mirror up. And Matthew, we really got a sense of that darkness just in, just in that scene. I mean, the, the Crown Prince Rudolf, here's the person who's would-be emperor, uh, who has such power, who has such control, such wealth. And yet he's kind of lost, isn't he? He's vulnerable. He's, he's isolated. Yeah, I think it's a like fascinating story, and the kind of context in which it arose is really uh, just like an inc incredible time, like full of kind of this kind of duplicitous nature of this incredible decadent empire, which was also kind of rotting behind the scenes. And yeah. he has these dreams to be a great emperor in his own right, but isn't allowed any of the power. And I think for that reason is perhaps why a lot of his energy and interests kind of get pushed into this kind of weird, tormented, uh, you know, <laughs> dark and uh, occult sort of uh, things. And just talking of energy, I mean, my goodness, it makes huge demands, doesn't it, of, of, of both of you? Yeah. No, it's uh, one, yeah, definitely one of the most challenging roles that I've ever uh, come across. But I think uh, the, the payoff that you get from it is just like, unlike anything else, like it's such a cathartic experience dancing it and um i don't know you really feel like you like like as anita was talking about layers and um like lao La mentioned how it really feels like you know you can always dig from your own um reserves it really just like feel i mean you don't want to talk to people for very long afterwards uh, okay. i'd have to say but um but it is a marvel, like incredible experience that like yeah, every single show feels like uh, something to cherish. And, and Lara, the character of, of Mary, who is both vulnerable but then and, and a victim, but then we see her in, in control in places, don't we? Yeah, I, I don't see her as a big victim at all, actually. I, I see her, she, she knows what she wants, she knows what she's doing, and she just gets t you know, turned on by the fact, like we were talking about the third act, right? How I just feel like there is a moment when she's like, this is what I want, you know, that power of the tabloids or whatever it is, like she's driven mm. by that and this idea, even if it's, you know, what it comes to, this idea of, you know, an act of passion, like that's what she wants. And what's interesting about Mary, 
more than any other role I've done is that I cannot think about it beforehand. Like I can think of the choreography, but I cannot preempt or think, oh, I'm going to do that there, or because I just have to be open fully to what Rudolf is doing and make that connection. And it's really liberating because yeah. you're just, and a bit scary, because <laughs> people are like, are you nervous? Are you excited? I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> it can go anywhere um, to get to the level where he's at, you know, because we haven't been in the ballet as much. So you have to method act. <laughs> also, I found this out in the wings to get yourself to that level for the whole of kind of half of act two after you yeah. go off. So it's just really fascinating the way that happens, really. Really interesting, Zanetta, what you said right at the beginning about Macmillan demanding that every moment means something, that, that, that not a single frame, if you like, to use the cinematic term, is, is, is wasted. Absolutely. I think it's like, um, um, for us, steps are words. Uh, how we interpret it, the, the words is a whole different, it will show a different dynamic, different colour, and, and will highlight different different things, but, but the words have to be there, they have to be spoken. I think if one starts getting rid of the words, and, and these words are so powerful, you need, and so transparent and so parallel to the emotions. Um, they need to be intertwined with the emotions to, to, to take them off the page in, in a way. You. Thank you, Zenaida. Thank you, Matt and Dara. We're going to see you both back shortly, but thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Don't forget, uh, October the 5th is the opening night of Marling here at the Royal Opera House in London. You're watching an insight live from Covent Garden from the Claw studio. And just a reminder too that the first night of Marling will be live in cinemas around the world. So wherever you're watching us this evening, check online, find out where your nearest cinema is, where you can watch the Royal Ballet live on October the 5th. Now I'm delighted to welcome our special guest this evening, the widow of Kenneth Macmillan. Please welcome Deborah Macmillan. <laughs> Do you know when Kenneth first came across the, the Marling story, how that happened? Well, thanks to Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he was an um, a obsessive film buff, and I knew he'd seen the, the uh, Myling films, and I went to Wiki Wikipedia, and there were quite a few. I mean, there was one in 1936, directed by Anatole Litvak, and that had Charles Boyer and Daniel Darieux. And then he did it again in 1957 for Mel Ferrer and Audrey Hepburn. And then the famous one was 1968, Terence Young directed that with Omar Sharif and Catherine Deneuve. And they were all based on novels by someone called Cla Claude Anne and someone else called Michel Arnold. Now, Kenneth was a great reader, but he was obsessed with film, and he would have seen all of these films. Yeah. Um, but I think he always felt they romanticised it. And though it's incredibly sexy and incredibly... Uh, Couldn't movie. we saw that, didn't we? Yeah, we saw that sort <laughs> 20 of. 20 minutes, yeah. Um, I think he felt that they were two fantasists who came together. I mean, one forgets at that time how obsessed everybody was with the afterlife. You know, people were doing you know, knocking on tables mm. and all sorts of things all the time. So this whole idea of the great beyond was an obsessive thing with people in all walks of life. Mm. I mean, Mary had been sent back from... She was the daughter of a a diplomat, I think, and she'd been sent back from Egypt for being no better than she should have been. <laughs> and uh, so she knew her way around. She was, yeah, she'd been around the block, as they say, where I come from. <laughs> um, so I think she's a complete antithesis of the wife, mm. um, Stephanie. And what you get, I mean, people here will have seen the ballet, but you get a complete difference in the dynamic and the way that they come together. And um, I mean, it's a rather mad story, but Kenneth and I were having dinner with some friends, and when we were going home, there was a nanny there, and he said about the husband, he's having an affair with that nanny. And I went, oh, you are vile, you always... You... And he said, no, I bet you he is. And that scene where she's very demure, because he said during the dinner, every time the wife came into the room, 
the nanny who was eating with us was very demure and sat like this. And then, well, I didn't notice any of this. And when the, when the wife went into the kitchen to get the next bit of food, the nanny was suddenly there. And, and Kenneth always picked up on people's behaviour really, really cleverly. Mm. And that's what that scene's about. And he's, comes in, yeah. he, he seemed to be very interested in, in what happened to humans, how desperate humans could be, how, how, yes, how humans could be pushed, particularly in this kind of rich Baroque world of court and lies and informers and political faction. And I don't think anything was, was secret. You know, there were informers in the court all the time. So nothing would have... I mean, I think everybody knew people were informing on each other. The whole thing was falling apart. Um, and he just became riveted by the story. He bought me for my birthday a book called The Eagle. I think it was The Eagle Has Two Heads. And then read it himself. And, um, and before said, you were allowed. Yes, before I got my hands on it. Um, and he said, uh, and this, this, I'm going to do this as a ballet. And, um, you know, we talked a lot about, about maybe having... And he went to um, Gillian because Gillian was a friend and Gillian had written a lot of film scripts for Hollywood and things. So she knew about... And he was obsessed with film and he wanted everything to move and move and move and not mm. stop for, for applause even. Mm. And Gillian Freeman, uh, she, she wrote at the time of the first uh, the premiere a fascinating article for the programme, yeah. which is been reproduced in, yes. in every staging since, but her kind of almost obsessive approach to, to detail and accuracy and to shaping it almost as if it was kind of a, a news story, her synopsis, isn't it? It's like something you, you, you kind of might read in the, in the Economist or something. Well, there are so many strands to this. You know, the, the court covered the whole thing up at the end and, you know, bags were not allowed to be opened. Bags of supposedly full of letters were not allowed to be opened until many years later. And when they opened them up, they were full of just rubbish paper. There were no... I mean, it was a terrible scandal. Mm -hmm. You know, quite appalling, really. And it, it, it brought about... I mean, it was sort of the, the run-up to the First World War, if you think about it. It was collapse of that empire. Um, now, he was riveted by that. He was riveted by what drove people and why they behaved the way they did, and the interaction between people. And I think what we saw tonight, which I thought was fabulous, by the way, um, that, that when people come together, all sorts of sparks fly or not. And he wanted to show that. Let's, let's just have a look mm. at some pictures. We've, we've got Lynn Seymour and, and David Wall uh, with Kenneth, uh, rehearsal for uh, Marling in, in 1978. What do you remember about the, the, the period of... Of, of creativity running up to that first, first night? Um, well, it was always, always fraught. <laughs> always fraught. He was always a bit fraught. I mean, the thing is that the dancers, you know, who knew him, he didn't do much... Well, he did an immense amount of preparation with the music and reading behind the, the story himself. But I never saw him do a step. I mean, he was quite a... Quite a lazy person. He liked to sit in front of the telly. <laughs> so, <laughs> but obviously things were going on in his head all the time. And it was only when he got into the room with the dancers. I mean, Zenaida made the point about these are their words. And it's true. He, wasn't in, he was interested in technique only for what it could give him and mm. what, it, what it could communicate, just as we are with words. And um, we don't all just spout words at each other or the alphabet. You know, we use it to communicate things and to give ideas and to, to all the things that we do in human intercourse. And I think that's, that's why he was fraught, because he never knew what was going to happen in the room. And um, some days he would do... I used to say... I've said this before, but he, two hours, if he got two minutes of choreography, he was doing well. And I think that's why the Benish notation was so important mm. to him, because he could just open up and be as free as he liked. And, and know it would be safe, yeah. It's safe, yeah. It's interesting that what Lara was saying, wasn't it, about, about how you can never predict what's going to happen in the show, how, how, how she can only do it by mm. responding on the night to how her, partner, how her partner dances. And perhaps that's something he enabled people to do, to be, to be a little... I think so. Cool. I mean, Larry used the word method. I mean, that's... What he, what he wanted was, was the production to come alive on stage, to be owned by the people on the stage. He never went back until the end of the show. He never went back during the show. It belonged to them. And if, it, if the work had gone well, then he handed it over and they, they grabbed it. The ownership belonged to them. Mm. Let's have another picture because we've got a... Uh, this fabulous shot of, of, of the, the first yes. 
the first, first night, I think, or perhaps taken at the dress, the dress rehearsal. And what interests me about that, I mean, you know, that could be a, 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 a Lehar operetta or a Strauss operetta. It could be a, a Richard Strauss opera. Yes. Or it could even be a real scene uh, from the, the crumbling court in, in, in Vienna. And, and, and it's, it, it was very interesting the way he was able to represent the, the majesty, the theatricality of the court, while also having this very intimate story. Well, one forgets the brilliance of Nicholas Georgiadis as well, the designer who was Greek and had a, you know enormous sort of background and came up with this. First of all, he wanted it as if it was snowing all the time. We never quite understood what was behind that and Kenneth, I think he got rid of it. But he came up with this idea and the, the dancers will tell you the costumes, which tell you about the period brilliantly, but are engineered so superbly that they're not heavy. Mm. And, um, I think he evokes that period brilliantly, I really do. And I love the idea of, of the, the dummy soldiers constantly there. Just, um, no, it's astonishing. And, and that mix of, 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 of tradition and, and, and innovation, I mean, the series of pas de deux that, that Rudolf dances, seven, I think, isn't it, in, in total, with, with well, they, they trace the development of his, of his story from his relationship with his mother to, yes. to his lust lust for Mary. I mean, it, it, yes. it's, a, it's an extraordinary sequence through the ballet, isn't it? Yeah. And, and also one forgets how important the character of Lariche is, because she, it, as Zenaida was saying, she is the manipulator and the, and the person, she has been with him right through his life. I mean, she was an early mistress. And then at the end, she's, you know, she's desperate to stay in the court. She'll do anything to keep him happy. Mm. Let's, let's just see a, 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 the classic picture of your husband. Uh, well, I think it's the classic picture. The next, the next slide we get after, after this. There we are. I mean, well, he loved that one because it covered his chin. <laughs> it's a leather jacket, isn't it? Yeah. I know. Vain. Vain. <laughs> so I'm trying to see who, who, uh, who, uh, who took the photo. It's uh, Tony Crickmay. Yeah. No, that is, that's the one I always think yeah. of him. I mean, I, I suppose that the ballet became particularly part of his, of his legend... Yeah. The night of his death. Yeah, I mean, that was awful. Mm. I mean, now, 30 years on, I can say he upstaged himself, which he did, um, but it was, a, it was terrible. It was a mm. terrible night for everybody, really. Mm. Um, I don't remember much about it now, to be perfectly honest. Because Let's see the next slide, because that's, that reminds us of what, what he wanted, that it, his express wish of your wife... Uh, you as his, as his wife, that the show would go on. And this was the next performance, wasn't it? And the cast list uh, printed with, with a black, a black yeah. border. Well, you know, people put... The thing is, people put so much work into these things. And I think it's been brilliant at this time of mourning for the Queen that people have been able to make a decision whether to go ahead, as the Opera House was about tonight. Mm. It's been left... You know, people put an immense amount of work into something and then, we, as we found with Covid, you know, it, everything just stopped. And these are young dancers, and the last thing I wanted the next cast to do was not, or the other cast was not, you know, and it helped me in a way mm. coming and watching them because I just thought, you know, it's, it was extraordinary. What is it, do you think, about this show that is so timeless that it, it, it feels it never won't have a place in the, the repertoire of the Royal Ballet? I think it's a whole marriage of an extraordinary story and it's an extraordinary historic time we all know a bit more about it now and you know the effect in in europe and what it what it did and of course the the other thing is that dancers now the, the technique is so brilliant that i mean what what we saw tonight when kenneth was doing that very few people could do rudolph yeah and i mean now there are rudolphs Coming out of, <laughs> but it is only because the 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 technique is somehow that the the standard has gone up and up, and then when the bar is as high as it is with the Rudolf pas de deux and things, dancers aspire to that and will work towards it. And it, I don't know where it's going to go because mm. it's it's stratospheric already. I hope it all has a life. I really mm. do. It's interesting at the start of the conversation you mentioned those films that that, that perhaps were what provided your husband with, with the inspiration. I, I think there's a new Netflix uh, series oh, right. coming up about Princess Sissy, which will, yes. which will of course, feature this, yes. feature this story, that the fascination people have with it 
it, it is. doesn't doesn't dampen. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Um, yeah. Well, it'll be wonderful to see it on stage once again. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. For being here. Deborah McMillan. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's uh, welcome uh, back uh, Zenaida Yanofsky as repetitor, joined now by Lara. Lara Moreira, not dancing, but as principal coach. We welcome back Matthew Ball as well. And uh, with Matthew, uh, Mayara Magri, principal of the Royal Ballet, who will dance uh, Kentes Marie Lariche. Welcome them, please. <laughs> Lara, just introduce, would you, uh, Marie Lariche to us? So she's a really interesting, complex character. You know, she is very close to Elizabeth, so they have this incredible relationship. But we find her in the ballet at a time when she's getting a little bit older. And um, actually, uh, the relationship with Rudolf has changed. Like um, Lady Macmillan said, there was, you know, that he's been, she's been there for everything to do with his life. And I think she's almost like lover, mother, carer. I think they have a beautiful relationship because she's the one that can soothe him and tell him off when he needs to be told off. In the Hofburg, there's a moment when she's like, pull yourself together. You know, those people, like they say, you know, those best friends <laughs> that can tell you everything. And she, we just find her at this incredible time when she wants to do everything for him, and she knows that that might mean bringing fresh blood. But what does that mean to you? But there's still, she's trying to still hold on to what she had with him. And, um, and actually, the range that she goes through, she, you know, is, is just, it's really stunning. She's elegant, she's calculated, she's that person that lights up the room, everyone, she's social you know, well-spoken, intelligent. I think she is that person, but then she makes little mistakes because, you know, when you're a bit desperate, you start to slip. <laughs> I feel like there are moments when she just, so she gets caught a little bit and then it leads to her full downfall by the end of the ballet. So the floor is yours. Thank you. So we're taking this rehearsal. So I'm still doing the role of Lariche. I've done it since 2005, I believe. Um, and so I'm really here to make sure that the choreography and everything like Sen said, the words, it's our steps. And I think as the drama evolves, you want to make sure that it's very, the speech is clear. So we're finding you in your first part of there with Rudolf in Act One. Um, the officers have just gone off. You've introduced Mary already. And then I think you've had this moment where you think, but maybe we have one last chance. So this is your time to be, do you remember? Do you remember how this felt? But unfortunately, you're not on the same wavelength <laughs> by this point. Mm -hmm. So let's just go for it. I know you've never run it, you know, but let's just go. And then when we see something, we stop. Um, and the wonderful thing to have Senaida is that she has a really fresh eye on this. and. Um, it just means that, you know, I'm never putting anything. I'm just delivering everything I've learned, but I'm very conscious of never putting the way I do it so they can find their own interpretation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
just up there. Mm. Great, thank you. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, really nice. Mayara, I think the coming on, just button, so like, don't worry about because I'll never shut up. Um, when you come on, it's not so much you already know this is clear. You are coming on with a purpose, so don't look back. I think you've already done that. You know that there is no one around to watch you. So I think it's more like, it's more about making sure that the officers have cleared. And then just be careful this isn't so passive. Like you are driving from a sense of want and passion. You know, so, so it just has a little bit more of a, of a drive, exactly. And then I think, chum, pam. Again, the, there's such a sensuality with Kenneth and the feet, you know, so it just speaks everything. So make that small and then sensual, like almost speaking everything that was. And this was a little bit classical today. Yeah, so Matt, I think after this big one, if we, we could just make it that it's a little bit more, yeah. One, two, three, and four. This is like, do you remember up? Yes. Um, yeah, it's that fifth, Mayara. Like, I think to hit that fifth, yeah. I think it hits it, but only to get there. So, and then, yeah, not to Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hit it, and then the open. Yeah. Yeah. Good, this was good. Don't get late on this. Five and there's six. No, later than five. Yeah. I thought this was excellent. Fantastic. Can, I, can you do me a favor, Mayara? Can you caress his arm? To, you, you are not going to look at her. It's She's perfect. going to... No, no, no. Just here. Don't worry. Just it's here. only a, a game. But <laughs> can you caress his arm to make you notice... So, so he notices you? Yeah. So that tenderness on how you go... Da, can you do that with your leg as you develop it? That feeling of um, suggesting that is... Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, much better. Yeah, that looks really good. Just be careful, it doesn't look like you're opening a window. Just... Uh, because we've just changed. I think it's more, I think Matt, it's where you get around her. Yeah. If you wait so your body's here, that is more about embracing him. Don't overthink it too much. Mm. Yeah, or even if you want to go this way, Mayara. Mm. It's all about the embrace. This was great. This was lovely. Um, slide was great. At some point, you just have to put the brakes on, you, I think, f so that she gets on to that point. And then even this is suggestive. You know, like that, it's all like she's speaking to him, like the Cadbury bunny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that slow. And stop, up, up, yeah. Nice. Exactly. And then don't make it too much about, if you want to make it about the foot, I don't know if you agree, Sen, mm -hmm. but not so much like balletically, but I think it's like this, again, this is almost like caressing his leg, like, Go, then probably look in his eyes. Good. And tighten it. Yes, that's better. And again, it's really about making rem remember. Yeah, good. Yeah. Try to step back on that, which you normally do. Yeah, I think if you look down too much, it's all about, but do you remember, you know, how this felt? But it just, mm. that kind of thing. Then I thought this was good. Again, this today was a tiny little bit balletic. Yeah. You know, you're just exposing yourself to him. Leg, ta, l there we go, yeah. Yeah, really feel that in conversation. Exactly. Really show this part of your body before you even go back. Just really, because that's what he liked anyways every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So no comment. Comment. <laughs> <laughs> um, then yeah. I feel this, um, which you did amazingly well, but it has that feeling of, but we could go, like we could go away, like we could be free, this could work. Of course it, it doesn't. So it's got that feeling of we could go and he's literally like, no, we can't. But we, no, we shouldn't, mm -hmm. you know? One, two, we go. 
Yeah. There. Nice. One, like a breath. Yeah. And then let's see this, and then this thing. Nice. This is beautiful, the way you do this. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, that's really nice. That feeling is perfect. Now, I think you're a little bit back on this. I feel like her weight is a little bit here, and so you can, and I think it's more indicating from here to there, and then you can get onto this foot, to there, onto this on, foot. On all three. On all three of them, yeah. So right up on your leg to the corner, yeah. That's better, there we go, that's better. And then let him do it, Matt, you really grab it, go. Down and then, yeah. Little bit more breath there. You know, like you're in your own world, he does something, you know, like because he's just been like, he normally sweeps you off your feet for years, right? So it's almost like however you want to do it, this is that moment where we go, but we could really go swing, swing. Remember the coup de pied, you know. Nice. Um, shall we Mayara, do? sorry to butt in. Uh, the, do you know that, uh, again, when you do that rond de jambe, that's such a beautiful step. I think, could you treat it, could you colour it in a way that is, um, uh, that it has breath in it? So, boom. Da, yeah. Down. So it's... So it doesn't become, um, yeah. Uh, so, so it's, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I couldn't express myself. <laughs> yeah. Can we try from the beginning? Is that okay to repeat? And just see, yeah. yeah. You can be at the end, just feel each other, even if it's not exactly what we have said. You know, feel when he's turning you, feel so those bodies, because you are so connected, it should work. But you're too old, honey. <laughs> you want someone younger. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm going to stop again. Very nice. Yeah, much, much better. Really, really nice. Don't get early at the beginning and don't get late at the end. <laughs> yeah, just um, uh, could you just play the beginning, Rob? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. No, sorry, the, the whole beginning that you did. Thank you so much. This is great how you did this. You come on. They're about leaving now. I'll take a little bit more time. is so in the music so then this is yeah that was great i thought that was all brilliant um don't get late marked on this one yeah 
one, two, three, up four, five and the six and the seven, and one, two, three, and four, five and the six and the seven, and one, two, three. Yeah, I think a little bit sooner, so she has time to expand, but also to show the next thought. Yeah. Um, just remember the coup de pied Mayara on both. So swing, swing, coup de pied, yeah, yeah. both okay. of them, and hook it. And then on this one, try to bend a little bit more on uh, shorten it, so it has a little bit more shorten and shorten. Now go and go and go and spin. There we go, lovely, yeah, yeah. gorgeous. So we see that one and two and three and four and jump. And it just shows, because it's on one hand, how connected you are. And then that guides you to fly away with me. Yeah. Should we do that? Yeah? Do you want to go from the second, Rob, could we go? Yes? Second the second bourree is wonderful. Thank you. Bend. 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 Bend, spin, good, go. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, it's sorry, it's a little bit slippery here. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. Um, amazing, a little bit early. Right, this one, two, da, cha, 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 spin, spin and grab. One, two, chum, pam, 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 tick, 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 and down and go. Two, three, yeah. But the idea was amazing. And remember, this is whatever you want to do here. But the idea is like, but we could just, like, we could go anywhere. You're starting to really get into it. You think you've got him in the bag again. Yeah. Did you want to ask something, Matt? I was also wondering, Matt, what is your reason for opening here so it doesn't become... Uh, At the end. Yeah, I think after I that period. I, I know it's what, you know, just go... Yeah, yeah. Find something, maybe. I think the focus is to her. Uh, yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. Keep Whatever, yeah. because it does have to open because you have to, you know, sort of do that. But, yeah, find a purpose. Yeah. Because maybe, I just had this thought with what you said, maybe it's mm. interesting, like you're both looking at each other, you're actually trying to pass her on, but she's like thinking that you're like absolutely loving it, <laughs> you know? So maybe mm. there is that feeling, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. A yeah. um, little bit less introduction. Yeah. Shall we, can we just hear? Perfect, thank you. Two, five, six, seven, eight, bure one. Once you've done the lift, which was great today, and you put it down, Mayara, I think be careful not to look down, but this is the moment that you think it's done. So have a moment of, you know, you've been so in your own world, like, and then it's such a shock that he goes, no. And then this is gorgeous, the way you do this, Matt. Be careful, I think, not to be too violent yeah. with her, because she is who she is. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, and I think don't look too like, oh, what's happening? You know, like I think be careful that it looks too much like that. So once you've done that, he picks you up. You just don't understand what's happening. Like, why are you sending me away? But you have to go away. He's giving you an order. Maybe feel it more with your back. You know, that I, I can't, I can't. Exactly. Play with it a little bit with you. Matt, do you need to lift her so far up before you land? Could you just from there just go and shoom out, you know, so it's, it's got, yeah. So Maybe you're a bit the idea tired doesn't now, break. Matt, you know, of her constantly. Yeah. Da, da, da. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Lift her up. Yes, down, yes, like yes. Like I told you, yeah. That's better, I think, than nice. to boom. Yes, Mayara, yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. I thought the flips are amazing, if a little bit early, but amazing. <laughs> So that's okay. <laughs> Gorgeous, they're, because they're at that angle, which is ideal, and they've got the height. So I think that's amazing. Yeah. And then just remember to have the coup de pied mm -hmm. as you run to him. Mm -hmm. And again, I think at the end, when he's put you, when he's done this, which is great, um, kind of don't look, I mean, you're so sure of yourself. There's never a moment. So you've tried, he's walked away. The thought really is, okay then, then kiss my hand and let's make it more formal. Yeah. But of course, as soon as he's there, you go for the kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just, and I think it just looked a tiny. Can we just see that just mm. to finish off? It was amazing though. Just, do you want to do it with music? Yeah. Can we go from soothing headache? I, you probably don't have that written down because I've just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Rob was like, don't say anything I don't have. Yes. Um, after the second flip. Uh, On the second, thank you. One. Now, good. Do you remember how I soothed you? looking down at the end that yes. doesn't work I don't think she'd look down is doubtful I think once she's there you just have it like okay then go okay. yeah I think they're looking down makes you look like you're still thinking about something but you've made it like I am who I am I don't run for anyone mm. just go you know mm. yeah really really good I thought that was really Fantastic. nice well yeah. done yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to interrupt that, but uh, we must leave everyone eager for more uh, when the new staging of the, 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 the new run of Myling starts here on October the 5th. You can book your tickets now uh, to see Myling here at the Royal Ballet in London, or it's on in cinemas around the UK and around the world that first night on October the 5th. Visit the Royal Opera House website for more information. Thank you for joining us this evening for this insight, which is sponsored by Rolex. Thank you very much to all our fantastic guests from the Royal Ballet here in the studio. Mayara, uh, Matthew, Zenaida, Lara, Rob Clark playing the piano. Uh, thank you to uh, Deborah McMillan as well. Thank you to our audience here. And thank you for joining us wherever you are around the world. From the Royal Ballet at the Royal Opera House Covent Garden, good night. <laughs>